One afternoon, we received a call for a structure fire on Crescent Street. Upon arrival, we found the house to be approximately 50% involved in fire. I responded to a hotel in downtown Hot Springs in reference to a shoplifter. When I arrived, I located him in the store, and he appeared to be unstable. My hoseman and I pulled an inch and a half line and made entry into the structure. We knocked the fire down on the first floor quickly, but found it apparent that we had fire above us and on the second floor. I went to take him into custody, and he began to resist. He was strong and sweating, and it made it difficult to get him handcuffed. We were rolling around the floor, and I was all by myself. I radioed for backup to help us pull ceiling and to extinguish the fire. But my transmissions were never heard, even though we were only 40 yards away from the crews outside. After several failed attempts at calling for help, we had to back out of the structure. I went to key up my radio to call for assistance, but all I got was dead air, which meant I couldn't reach anyone. A bystander called 911 and told him I needed assistance and back up. Another officer arrived and helped me safely take the man into custody. This is not the first incident where the radio system has failed us. It has become an increasingly serious matter for our safety. It was a dangerous situation that could have turned out quite differently. It's a terrible feeling when you key up your radio and you can't get the help that you need. On November 22nd, the Hot Springs Board of Directors will consider a proposal to establish 2.6 mills of property taxes. This temporary two-year tax would be used to purchase a radio system for Hot Springs firefighters and Hot Springs police officers. Our current systems have proven to be unreliable and have failed first responders during emergencies. This places you and your family at risk. The new system will be one that will be state-of-the-art, that will be reliable, and will meet the needs of the City of Hot Springs for many years to come. This system not only protects first responders, your firefighters and police officers, it will protect you and your loved ones for many years to come. These men and women have families that wait for them to return home at the end of their shifts. Having solid backup in high-risk situations means everything to the family of a policeman or firefighter. Our personnel should be able to know with certainty that the call they make in the face of danger will reach the help they need. There is greater peace of mind with the assurance of reliable public safety communications. The citizens of Hot Springs have always shown strong support for their fire and police departments, even more so in the last few months. Your support is more important than ever as we finally approach a practical solution to a very critical problem. Thank you for standing with the men and women of the Hot Springs Fire and Police Departments. We truly appreciate your support.